Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Akila James coming to you with another video. Today I'm going to talk to you about the best free apps for content creators. These are the only apps you need. Let's jump right into this video. So as a content creator, we already have so many expenses. You have to buy a camera sometimes. You have a phone sometimes. You have to buy a mic because sound is important. Sometimes you have to buy lighting, which is so much money. Excuse me. Sometimes you need battery packs because why? You don't want your phone to die or your camera to die. And it just can add up. Sometimes you need to pay for a studio or if you're outside, you're fine. But you know what I mean? Like depending on what kind of content you're creating, you have to buy materials or tools to use for your video. But these are just free apps you can use that are super useful. I have my phone here because I'm going to show you it. These are apps you can use on your phone or on your computer. So it's very accessible. And again, like I said, it's free. Phone going off. So number one, my favorite app, absolutely favorite app. I use it on my phone all the time. is Canva. Canvas without the S. This app is so nice. Very easy. It's free again. This app, you can use thumbnails for your YouTube. You can use Instagram thumbnails for this app. You can use any kind of intros. It is basically a template to show you how to post your stuff. Canva is a blue and purple and turquoise color looking app. I use it for my YouTube thumbnail and I just click on it, find a template that I like and that is free. It says paid on the bottom of that template. You have to pay for that template. You can get Canva Pro, but this app is very good just for social media in general because you can use it on all platforms and I just put my own pictures. I use objects on there. I use fonts on there, animations on there. So it is so dope. And you can also save the template that you like so you can have it forever. Canva is the way to go. Number two, InShot. It is actually a photo app. With InShot, you can put in a raw photo and you can contrast on it, saturation in it. You can put more light in it, dim the light. So you can basically edit your photo in the app and then save it under the dimensions that you want. You can also use InShot for collages, videos, or anything like that. The only downside to InShot is that you have to make sure you watch the commercial for 30 seconds or more, and then you can get the InShot label on the bottom right corner away. You don't need that label on the corner. If it is on the corner and you already uploaded it or you saved it to your phone, that means you didn't watch the ad. So it's very simple, 30 seconds out of the way. But with InShot, let's say I take a photo of myself when I do my YouTube thumbnails because sometimes when I take my photo straight from my camera, I'll do it in the 16 by 9 frame and then I will just zoom it all the way in and then I would just save it and it processes very quickly. The only time it doesn't process very quickly is when you're doing a video that is about, I would say, one to two minutes long. So with InShot, it is a pinkish app color. Pink and white is just InShot and it's really easy and it's very effective. Number three, TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is free, but it is one of the best. You know why? Because it puts you onto information in your YouTube video before you post your YouTube video. So hear me out, right? I want to do how to play tennis. That's my title. So I go to TubeBuddy, I type in how to play tennis, and it lets me know how good my title is, whom it may reach, as well as what tags I can can include in my video. Now, this is the free version. I do recommend the paid version since the free version is so nice. I am not paying for it at the moment. Too bad he hit me up. I don't mind. I don't mind a little, you know, trial. I don't mind a little review. I literally go into this app. That is how I get my titles. I must say that is how I saw an increase in subscribers and an increase in my views and an increase in my watch hours is because of my thumbnails and my titles. So that is just a very simple app that you can use and it will help you elevate your YouTube. And TubeBuddy is a red and white app and it's just a TB and a TubeBuddy on the end, on the bottom. So it is definitely very convenient and I definitely do recommend it. Like I said, this is an unpaid version, but since this unpaid version is so good, why not pay possibly? Or if you're just starting, I would say you don't want to, again, like I said from the beginning, you don't want to incur too many expenses. So stay to free until you definitely start profiting from this thing. 
amazing. Number four, Social Blade. Now, Social Blade, I usually look at on my computer, but I can watch it on my phone as well. Social Blade is a platform where you're able to look up any person you know on YouTube. So if I look up myself, it'll say Akila James, and then it'll give me a, a roadmap to a thousand subscribers, how many views I've hit. It'll give me how much money I would be making if I was monetized, which I know that is kind of up in the air. It is pretty accurate in the sense of if you continue to do what you're doing once your video did well, you will get there. Sometimes it is slow to upload information. So let's say for instance, I'm at 1200 subscribers right now. It doesn't have exactly what subscribers I have. If I, let's say gain 10 subscribers tonight, but it will give me from whenever it updated. So I like it because it inspires you and it also grades your YouTube channel. I'm at a B minus right now. Let's say I made $10,000, right? It makes me like, oh my gosh, every month I can make $500 or every month I can make $2,000, which is really inspiring. I believe your first big check or your first check on YouTube will be the best because you remember how much blood, sweat and tears you put into this platform and then you start seeing your benefit. So right now my money went down, which is like, oh, that means I need to post more videos. You know, I get into that kind of mindset, but it makes me feel good to know, like I said, because I have that information on hand. It keeps you motivated and that's what we're here to do. Motivate you because as you know, on this journey, it is very long and sometimes you don't even see the results that you think. How many times have you posted a video that you're like, oh my gosh, why didn't I get those views? Or how many times you posted a video where you felt like, oh my gosh, my video was so lit. Let's blow up, I'm going viral tonight and you only get like 10 views. Let's not look at the results here. Let's look at getting better in the video. Social Blade is the way to go. Number five, we're gonna with Pinterest. Pinterest for me is something that inspires me because you get to see all types of things, whether it's fashion, whether it's food, where there's ideas. It's basically a social media. You can like people's stories, boards. You can separate the boards that you want. So I have like a wedding board. I have a house. I have a travel board. I have a fashion board. I have all kinds of board. I have a tennis board. So it gives me ideas on YouTube videos that I want to see. It also helps you get inspired by what other YouTubers or other content creators are posting and it keeps you plugged in. It also keeps you updated on the trends that are going on, which is always going to be helpful for you. It gives you ideas even on thumbnails, even on wording. So now even Pinterest because of TikTok, because of YouTube shorts, because of reels on Instagram, Pinterest even has an option for you to watch certain things. I get a chance to see certain workouts that are a few seconds long, maybe a minute long. So it's very, very helpful. Pinterest is the way to go. I love Pinterest. You can also promote your website on there. You can promote your YouTube videos on there. Another thing you can use is Lightroom Mobile or Lightroom. It is another photo app that you can edit on and it just keeps your content clean, crisp, and looking good. I think it's Adobe. If you just take the time, you'll get to know what you're doing. You look it up, you see a video editor, you can even edit your videos on here. It's so much to do. Very, very similar with the contrast, the exposure, and just everything that you gotta do. I'm gonna show you a little bit briefly because I don't really use this app, but it is very, very simple and it's free. You heard it here. I'm no gatekeeper of information, but this is a great app. Let me show you a little bit of Lightroom so you can see. As you can see, it goes back and forth with tints, with exposure. It's just really, really effective. But I used it at one point in time and then I stopped because I thought InShot was a little simpler, but it's definitely really, really friendly. That's a good app again. That's a good app. Last but not least, the number seven, number of completion, I would say Notion. Notion is such a good app because you get templates of different things. Let's say you have goals. Everyone has goals, right? Let's say June 4th, you want to have 500 subscribers. You can look at a template for goals. You can look at a template and see, hey, by June 4th, I want to make it to 500 subscribers. Here's how I can do it. Here's what I will be doing to get there. And so it's really good for that. And it's really good for any template that you want. If you want to have thumbnails, if you want to organize your work, you want a vision board, if you want a habit tracker. So there's a lot of things that you can do if you want to make sure you're on task for posting. You know how it is with YouTube. You got to post a lot. I would say post long videos and you want to post frequently. So let's say you want to post three times a week. You can just get a tracker on here, a habit tracker or a daily thing. Basically like a 
planner and post the times you want to track and it will be right there with you thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i want to let you know if you're thinking about starting a youtube channel for 2023 start it don't stop because let me tell you something by the time you look it will be august 2023 you know what the time is going to pass no matter what so make sure you're starting and make sure you're on track to doing exactly what you would like to do for the new year thank you again bye